a classic case of Amiga versus Rolex again. And if I'm honest, I don't see comparisons between the two brands ending anytime soon. That was a sentence I wrote in an article on the WatchGecko site back in 2018 when comparing a vintage Amiga and a vintage Rolex. Now, three years on, that sentence still rings true. And let's be honest, as long as the two brands are operating at the top of their game, Amiga and Rolex will continue to be compared to each other for eternity. In fact, a recent report shared how Rolex and Amiga came in first and second place for sales from Swiss watch brands consistently since 2017. So why is it then that the Amiga Aquaterra is better than the Rolex Datejust? Okay, that's a bold statement to make with quite a lot of layers to it. The Amiga Aquaterra we're referring to here is the 38mm model with a white dial, which we took a look at via our friends at Fraser Hart. So before we go ahead and just leave a controversial statement like that on the table, here are five reasons why the Aquaterra is better than the Datejust. Number one, the design is more interesting, modern and youthful. Its teak pattern dial design is said to replicate the decks of luxury yachts and its commanding hour markers aggressively draw the eye in. Similarly, the hands offer heaps of strong and confident personality with an arrow tipped minute and second hand. Those hands and hour markers both have a beautiful mixture of brushed and polished surfaces. Something that is even more apparent on this white dial model as they're blackened. The Aquaterra even has a slice of Speedmaster to it thanks to its twisted lugs that help with the wearability, keeping the lug to lug distance right around 44mm. It's a watch that even understands the importance of balance thanks to a 6 o'clock date window. All of these design decisions result in an incredibly distinctive, aquatic and sporty looking watch that feels extremely capable and youthful on the wrist. There isn't really a part of the Aquaterra's design that feels overly traditional or vintage, and that's its greatest strength. Number 2. The movement is hugely impressive, and you can see it. The calibre 8800 is the beating heart of this Amiga Aquaterra. Like many Amiga movements, this one is pretty special, as it offers a master chronometer certification approved by Metas, with an accuracy of 0 to plus 5 seconds a day. It also has a free sprung balance with silicon balance spring, and of course, the coaxial escapement. On top of all of this, it has an impressive 55 hours of power reserve vibrating at a respectable 25,200 vibrations per hour. It's also resistant to magnetic fields, reaching 15,000 gauss. The icing on the cake is that all of this is visible through the display case bag, where the rhodium plated finish and Geneva stripes really shine. Number 3. You get a solid choice of strap options, straight from Amiga. The appeal of versatility is unavoidable, and on the Aquaterra, you certainly get that in abundance. To emphasise this even more, Amiga offers the watch on three different and distinctive straps for you to choose from. The bracelet is a three-link oyster style, which is difficult to not find appealing. There is also the alligated leather, seen here in grey. This is a great match for the dial accents and flies very much under the radar. Then we get to the rubber strap. In my eyes, this is the only strap to go for on the Aquaterra from the AD, even over the bracelet. It simply epitomises the whole ethos of the watch perfectly. Its layers of detail range from the white continuous stitching to the crosshatch central design, while the star of the show is that metal center link. Amiga has done a brilliant job here in drawing parallels from the dial to the strap. Of course, the Amiga straps can only offer so much. Here at Watch Gecko, it's fair to say we know a thing or two about watch straps. So if you're getting a little bored of the watch you own and maybe you're thinking of selling it, why not give it a second chance with a new watch strap to really freshen it up? We'll leave a link in the description to check out our vast range of watch straps. Number 4. They cost less and are easier to source. Costing a maximum price of £4,900 on the bracelet, the Aquaterra comes in at £740 less than a modern day Datejust from Rolex. Take a look at the second hand market and that difference is even more in Omega's favour. Once you're ready to buy, you'll be able to pop down to your local Fraser Hart and be almost certain to walk out of the door the same day with the watch in your collection. Rolex on the other hand, well that's a little more complex and can commonly involve waiting lists. And number 5. They're not Rolex. This last point is one that for many is actually the most important one when considering these two Swiss giants. Although Rolex's achievements, prowess and desirability are very hard to resist, the company does put up a lot of barriers for people wanting to enter their world. Empty AD windows, endless waiting lists and questionable selling strategies 
are all practices that can easily turn potential customers off the brand completely. Amiga, on the other hand, well they have a much better reputation. The other benefit in not being Rolex is potentially down to security. A Rolex is pretty recognisable on the wrist, which could lead to unwanted prying eyes. Amiga is a little more discreet, which comes with the extra peace of mind. Today we've mainly spoken about Amiga's relationship to Rolex, but of course that's not the only competition the Aquaterra is up against. When it comes to mid-size versatile modern watches, you can practically name any watch brand and you'll have a watch that fits the bill. On the first link in the description, we run through a few of our top alternative watches to the Aquaterra that you should consider, including one watch that is less than a thousand pounds. Be sure to check it out once this video is over. For a watch from such a historically important brand like Amiga, with deep connections to important moments in world events, as well as the watch world, the Aquaterra refreshingly doesn't really rely on the past to help define it. It's a fresh take on a modern sports watch, showing the industry that you don't always have to look backwards to progress. If you're looking for a fantastically versatile, everyday watch that is free from any old world style, that excels both in being conceptually and visually balanced without a coronet on the dial, this might be the next best thing. Oh, and before you ask, it will be fitted to that gorgeous rubber strap, with a handful of watch gecko straps, of course. Let us know your thoughts on the Aquaterra in the comments below. Which strap would you wear the watch on? And do you think the Aquaterra is a much more interesting choice than the Rolex Datejust? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.